Welcome back everyone. Hope your day is going well. Hope it hasn't been too rough. We are back to playing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I made a little trip to the shop in Hogsmeade. Um, got a uh, this mask and uh, I think I bought... I bought something else, I can't remember. But So now we have that outfit for our adventuring out in the wilds outfit. And I, I actually uh, did that. I started running over here and I was like, oh wait, I'm supposed to be recording this. So now we're recording this and... Playing the game. I'm gonna go explore over here real quick. I do like how there actually is a lot to explore. Okay. Hmm. Just curious to see if there's anything Revelio. interesting over here. Revelio's not showing anything, so. Can I cross this? Yes, I can. Okay, now we're on Hogwarts grounds, okay. But still nothing really here. Hmm. Oh, well. Actually, it looks like there's stuff over there. Come on. Revelio. Hmm. Nothing over that way, but I bet I can swim over here, right? It doesn't look that deep. Yeah, what's down there? That actually looks pretty deep. Can we swim in there? Looks like we can. Oh, there we go. Now I can swim. Oh, that's... Get up. I... Nope. I don't like that. Revelio. Interesting. What am I supposed to do here, though? It looks like... This has something to do with a Kraken of some kind. Which I swear if that's in the freaking... Oh wait, didn't you say that's in the lake? There's a Kraken in the lake? No, it's like a giant squid. So I guess, oh. sort of. Oh. oh yeah, that's the squid. Oh my gosh. Like in the book, students would study on the lawn and watch the huge squid. Oh. Uh, I completely forgot about that whenever I came in here. Okay. Is it in the game? I have no idea, but there's a wall with a giant squid. Get run. Is he a is he a good squid? Bad squid? Is he like? He was never a dangerous. He was something that the kids talked about. Oh okay. Like they'd watch him swimming through the lake. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. You should go find him. I'm not. <laughs> it's like stranded deep all over again. I am not doing that again. And it's nighttime. Yeah, it's even worse. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot to start a timer. Uh, and we're not playing the game very long anyway, so that's fine. Because like I said, the games this week are going to be a little bit shorter because... Or not this week. The games for Monday and Tuesday are going to be a little bit shorter because I'm trying to get back on schedule. Revelio. Okay, so, yeah, what the heck is this? Don't really know what that does. Oh, I'll take those, though. Hork lump juice. Okay. Huh, I wonder. So if I go... Leviosa! Accio! If I put that on there, will that do it? Did that do it? Don't really feel like that did anything. Oh, a fog rolled in though. A 
Levioso. Hmm. Like I feel like that goes. Rebellio. Oh wait, fire. Incendio. Oh whoa. Accio. That's on fire. Now what? Like I lit it on fire. Incendio. That is definitely on fire. Revelio. I mean, I lit it on fire. And it's on that, right? I don't know if that counts, though. Akio. Oh! I didn't even see that opened up. I should oh. investigate. Cool. I was not paying attention. Okay, let's be careful in here. Let's keep a lookout for enemies. Oh, cool. Hello. Oh, a crimson top hat. Nice. And what looks like some kind of stone tablet. Okay. Oh, sh oops. Well, cool. Okay, cool. We found a little opening there. Nice. Okay. Cool. Every time I say nice like that, I immediately think of, like, a uh, Wii Golf. Like, nice shot. Okay, let's go this way. Jeez, that is a creepy noise. Okay, well, let's see what's here. Oh, hello, sheep. Hello. Um, can we go in here? Yes, we can. What's this? Daring cloak. Revelio. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the groundskeeper's hut. Wait a minute. This isn't Hagrid's hut, is it? Well, Hagrid wouldn't be alive yet, I don't know. But it's the groundkeeper's hut, right? Because there's the main entrance and then there's the side one off to the side. What do it look like? And then there's... Oh, the pumpkin patch. But I don't think it's... I think Hagrid's hut is a little bit bigger, right? Well, this is no. obviously way, way long ago, but... That looks like it. And then walking down from the, the bridge... Oh, yeah, because the bridge is where... Uh, Hermione punched uh, a Malfoy, right? Near that? I don't know. Yeah, kind of a little bit. They probably changed it a little bit over the years, but... Okay, well, cool. Revelio. That being said, um, yeah, look, there's a... There's stuff down here. This isn't where I just was, was it? Crap, yes it was. I almost went down there again. Uh, looks like there's something down there, but we're not really going to worry about. Ugh. Let's see what's over here, though. Take some of these. Okay. Uh, oh, that's objective. Let's not go there just yet. What's this over here? Looks like a quest. Hello, what can I help with? Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the <gasps> lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, how? I mean, for my character, sure, yeah, that sounds fun. 
Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Oh, dang. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I hope you see the squid. Uh, how about what's an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll have to think about it, especially on how I would even dive down there. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our Rebellio. family. Rebellio! It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I should dive down and see. Are you crazy, man? Dive into the Black Lake and find the astrolabe. Man, I don't even know how to dive in this game. I'm not gonna die. I can't hold my breath. Are you? I think that's excuses? Yeah, I'll use all the excuses I can to get out of doing that. Um, interesting. Oh wait, what's this? It's a box. Oh wait, but I can break that box, right? Yep. Oh shoot, that had apples. My bad. Incendio. Oh, well, I thought that might have something. I feel like these, like maybe you use ancient magic here. Revelio. Ooh, those look like I could. Oh no, I can't pick those. I thought I could, but I can't. Looks like I can pick this stuff up here, though. Oh, that sounded close. Hmm. Okay. I should dive down. Are you freaking crazy? It sounds like it's just over here is what she said. Rebellio. I don't know how you dive down. That's the thing. Is It's like... Yeah, sure, I wouldn't mind doing that, but... I really would want to know how to dive down. I mean, you probably need some kind of spell to do that. I imagine. Yeah. Like the air bubble thing. Yeah, or get some gillyweed. Oh, well, look, there's a chest right there. Ooh. Hello. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, what's wrong? Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Dang. 
So are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling. Though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Dang, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Well, I can try and look at that It was later. nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. No worries, we'll figure it out. Revelio. Oh, there's tons of stuff in there. Okay, cool. Hello. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Uh, may I see your wares? What do you have for sale? He's got... Oh, okay. Just the usual stuff. Leech juice and lacewing flies. And then Endurus, Maxima, and Wigan Weld. Uh, and I could potentially sell some of this stuff. Yeah, I literally don't need any of this that I picked up. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Okay. I hope to see you again sometime. Well, actually. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Uh, any rumors going about? Any whispers going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. His gang is attacking traveling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. <laughs> Which means he's free to do what he wants down in Coral Ruins. Gotcha. And tell me a little more about yourself. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> it's the standard price. <laughs> My prices are low enough already, you see. Gotcha. And what all do you sell? What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> My ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Gotcha. Well, thank you. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Okay. Well, first things first, let's... After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Yeah. Dang, look at all this stuff over here. Revelio. Look at all this stuff. Uh, hello. Grey nightcap, okay. That stuff's inside. I may as well go ahead and go here. Grave voyager garb, okay. Oh, lower Hogsfield. One of my two favorite Hogsfields. Lovely. Okay, let's go gear. Let me just take a look at this real quick. Oh, it's actually better too. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I actually like that one. Well, cool. Okay. Which we can sell that eventually. Uh, how do we feel about headwear? Oh, we got a nightcap. Oh, but 20, jeez. Um, but that means I can change my neckwear. So it matches just a little bit. Uh, we could go with that. No, I kind of like the other one for now. 
Okay, cool. Okay, I like the new dreads. I like it. Revelio. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna break into somebody's house real quick. Yep. Sorry, I'm taking your stuff. Don't mind me. Hello. Thank you for the uh. This. Oh, there's just a kid there. I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, it looks like this bag is outside. Oh, I just barely missed it. Okay. There we go. Let's go over here. Revelio. Okay, it looks like this. Ah, okay. That one's locked, though. Okay. Let's go ahead. I say let's go ahead and just start the, uh, the other quest real quick. Oh. Looks like I left something in their house. One second. Sorry, it looks like you guys have some money that I didn't take. Revelio. Wait, where was it? Oh, it's outside? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Wait, what? It's right there. But it's inside? Excuse me, where... What the heck? How... Okay. There's something fishy going on there. Revelio. That... Okay. Just, whatever, we're not going to worry about it. Okay, let's see what we got. Maybe daytime we were supposed to come here? Oh, yep. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm. They want something I found. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, 
I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Okay. Be on your guard. So now I what? Beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What? What's going on here? What happened? Somebody's being threatened. Oh, wait a minute. If they've got... Let me... How do I do this again? Uh, where's the... Yeah, Expelliarmus. We'll do that. Instead of that one. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied! You'll regret crossing my path. <laughs> Leviosa, uh, Accio, uh, No! Oh! <laughs> I turned him into a chicken. Oh crap! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh crap! Don't hang up. We can hold them off! I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this! You'll get off of my dead body! Stop that right now! Potato! Stupid! Leviosa! Accio! Expelliarmus! How embarrassing! Not that! Oh. Nice. Jeez. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. I apologize about that. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Research? You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Yeah, how extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Gotcha, how fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. 
Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Protego! Oh, jeez. I'm bad. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Mm -hmm. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. They're not on fire. Incendio! Mullen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Is this in the middle? Kind of looks like someone. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I gotcha. really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Hmm. So there's definitely somebody here. Oh, whoa, she packed all that up. But it's like, okay, but what do I... Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Okay. Can I emote in this game? I don't think you can emote, right? Yeah, I don't think so, because he was, it looked like he was holding a globe, and so I was like, I don't know if that meant anything. Oh, maybe I can Revelio. do... Revelio. Oh, no. Nothing, okay. Okay. Not too bad. Um, okay. I think what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will uh, see you in the next one.